Good morning. The Secretary General uh, will pre. Moscow continues to develop and deploy several battalions of the SSC-8 uh, missile. Despite uh, the efforts of the United States and other NATO allies over many years uh, to encourage Russia uh, to return to compliance. We all know uh, that a treaty that is only respected by one side cannot keep us safe. Any steps we take will be coordinated, measured and defensive. And we do not intend to deploy new ground-based nuclear missiles in Europe. And we see uh, reasons to also try to uh, broaden uh, the INF Treaty to include uh, more uh, countries. And because we have seen that since the agreement was signed in 1987, uh, then between the Soviet Union and uh, the United States, uh, uh, more countries have invested heavily in intermediate range uh, uh, forces, missiles. Uh, uh, we have seen that, of course, in a rising power as China, but also countries like India, Pakistan and, and Iran uh, are developing in, in, and, and deploying intermediate-range uh, intermediate uh, weapons. So there are reasons to look into how can we uh, broaden this, how can we have a, a treaty which covers not only uh, Russia and the United States. But my important message today is that this effort to try to strengthen or to broaden uh, uh, arms control regime on intermediate range weapons is in no way an, an excuse for uh, uh, leaving or violating the existing treaty we have. That is a cornerstone, it has to be preserved and then built on that uh, we should look into uh, possible ways to strengthen and to broaden that treaty. I know that everyone has been very careful through the last few months to look at uh, where the INF Treaty is, uh, the violations that have been reported, the evidence that we have uh, shown our allies of the Russian violations. And now um, America has started the process of withdrawing from the treaty unless Russia does come back in to show that it is in full and verifiable compliance. Our allies want to know what the future will be, and the future will be that we will start the development of a defensive mechanism and we will keep our allies informed all along the way. We will consult at every turn.